So after we already load the ink to the ink damper by the injection, and we already installed the control software, and also we know all the all the function for the control software, we can start to do the head cleaning or load ink from load ink from the ink damper to the print head. Then go to the waste ink bottle. We can open the red ink cover, and we can see the ink bottle waste ink bottle from here. So now we just go to the software and we start to load ink. We open the control software and we go to find out the setting from here. Go to setting, we find out the load ink. If you're the first time to load the ink, you just choose all heads, head one to head three. And we click click load ink. Here is very important. We cannot load for a long time. Because if you click on the load ink icon option here, it will not automatically stop unless you click again. So we just uh, open it and waiting wait for the machine pump ink about several seconds. Once the ink coming out, then we then we close off immediately. So we, let's try. We choose head one, two, three. Then we go to load ink. Then the cap station we are pump move up and the 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 with ink pump start working. We're just waiting for old ink coming off. So we can see red color varnish oil coming off. Then we go to software and we stop it immediately. We go stop it. So for this way, we can save a lot of ink. And it's only used for the first time we load ink. And later, if you got the printer already have ink, but a little bit clogged, we just go to cleaning. Also, after we load ink, we must go to cleaning. We choose all heads to clean again, normal, to pump out the waste ink from the cap station. So when we go to cleaning, the cartridge starts to the cleaning procedure. The pump start working. Then the capacitation move up. Then pump move down. Then pump out with the ink. Then the carriage go out. The wiper will start to working to wipe the waste ink out. The upper max combined with the industrial lever four bore screw motion for the capacitation with the high precision for 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 make the alignment. So we can be, we can get the best pump pump ink cleaning result. This is the unique. What first technology automatically up down for high precision for full bore screw motion. So this is the auto procedure for do head cleaning and for load ink. But right now we also don't know if all the ink is goes through or not. Then we can go to uh, put that paper on the table and do some test the print, do some the not check print first to check if all the ink is go through or not. So after we load the ink to the ink damper, we can start to the not test the print from the software. Before we do not test, we must find a paper that is better for transparent paper. So we can see the white ink and the varnish not the print. Because if you put the white if you put the white paper, we cannot see the we cannot see the white ink and varnish clearly. So for better detection, we use the transparent tape, laminate, laminating film. So we can move the table move out by feet. When we push feet, the button, then the table moves up, move the front. And then we can put the film, the, the tape, the paper on the top of the flat bit. We can see that flat bit have some uh, holes. This is, what, this is the one q of the suction holes to suck, to suck the film without bending the tape, the, the paper. So we put on the table. And then make the flight. 
also then we can also we must be sure it's clean without any dust then we go to open the one cube option here we click on it then the one cube will start to working at the bottom of the table Then the, the powerful one cube will start to working. We cannot when the one cube is working, we cannot move the film. It stick really fast. At the edge, for safety, we can use the tape. We use the tape to fix it. To be sure it's not scratch the print head. As this, because the edit will not have one cube. At this way, to be sure, it's not it's flat without without any bending of the film or the. Or the med media. Then we can go to the software and we go to move, move the table down to do the the to test the gap between the print head and the media. So we go to Z axis and we can move down. First moving down. Then we can see the table start to moving down. Then we can also move the table to front, to back side. And then we move the carriage out of the home position. And then we start to move up. Little bit by little bit. And then we go to check the gap. And we must be sure the gap in the print head and media is only one, two, two. Memory is going to have to stop. So you can see the Automatic detection light is working at the left and the right. Here is the automatic detection light. We have in the sensor here. The red light. Detect the media and automatically stop. But for safety, it's better for double check by our eyes to check the gap without scratch print head. The gap between the print head and the media is one to two milliliter. Not too small, not too bigger. If too small, it will be easy to scratch print head. If too bigger, then the print, print out the quality will not good. So after we check, the gap is safety for the printer. Then we can go to the software. We click off the control panel and we press X reset. Then the carriage back to home position. Then we can go to start print. We can go to first, uh, we must set the margin. X margin we put 20, the Y margin also we can put it by 20 or how many you want. For example, we click on the Y margin, we put it by 50, and then we start print. We can do start to do the head cleaning, uh, the not the check print, we click check print. And also here we set the margin from here, and then we click print. Then table go back automatically. Then we go to the 20 position for test the print. 
Then another check pin is coming out. So from here another check pin, we can see the key black is good, the fire is good, magenta is yellow, match with a little bit magenta the, 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 the magenta ink match a little bit with the yellow because we load the ink too strong the first time. And the magenta is good. You can see like this. But there are some bubbles, some bubbles inside green head. And here is for color. And the top is for white. The white is hard to see. But when we enlarge it, we can still see some small lines coming out. And the front is the varnish. Varnish from here. So we can pull out, we can pull out the film. And later we can see more clearly for the North checkpoint. But here we have some color mixing. So we can do a small cleaning again. So we go to the software and we choose head cleaning. The head one is for the head one is for white and for color. Then we go to setting. We go to, we go to uh, we go to uh, cleaning. We choose head one. We choose uh, strong cleaning. Then the printer starts to clean it again. So now the printer starts to do the head cleaning automatically. Okay, so after we did several times of head cleaning from the software for all the heads, then we can do the not check print again. If we do not check with steer, we set the margin, the print margin. For 30, 30, click on the white margin. Then we go to checkpoint. And here we put all the 30. We click on the white margin by 30. Any position as you want. Bigger than zero is okay. Then we click print. Now we change the white paper, easy to see. It, it is all the color coming out or not. The printer starts to print. The, after several times printing, you can see all channels coming out clearly. And the white layer is on the top. It's hard to see. We can print on the transparent material. Let's see if it have wires coming out. The white channel on top and the varnish on the bottom. If we put on transparent material, it's easy to see if it's all the coming out. All from the black material. For easy to see, the not check print quality. Uh, for the white ink and the varnish, we can find out a transparent or black acrylic or glass we put on the flatbed. And we must uh, moving down the table. Moving down, move out the carriage. And then we check the gap in the table, green hat and material. The gap between the gap between green hat and the carriage must be one or two millimeters. Test of two millimeters for safety. 
And also, if we put the transparent material on the table, the upper limit sensor will not working because the upper limit sensor is only used for a hard rack meter. The transparent material, the, the light will be so smooth as the glass or ceramic. So, so, uh, then we go to the another check again. Then in here we can easier to see the nodal check of white on the top and varnish at the bottom. If we open it, we can see this is the white one white nodal check print or print out. And top middle is hollow and the bottom is varnish. The varnish print out like this here. So the white color, varnish, here's varnish. The white color and varnish. The bottom is varnish. So you must be sure we have the good note check for white, for color, for varnish, print out. As this. And I totally have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight channels for another check print. And if the color, another check as this. Okay, two black, two cyan, two yellow, two magenta. Print out like this. Then we can do the next step. If we have to do the check print, 